Two out with it's in one week. This is weird, and I blame Twitch. And the first thing I'm going to say is that today, Friday, at the end, at a week bookended by really big news for partners, and now really big news for non-partners. And now partners are like all up in arms, and I'm like, okay. The first thing I'm going to say is blame Game Wisp, bank and blame Game Wisp. Partners don't expect to kick the bear without expecting that they might take a swipe at you. So many, so many people have been, I, I'm kind of mourning Game Wisp in a way today because as it is in this business, the big dog, all the big dog has to do, look at Snapchat, look at stories, look at stories here. You remember Snapchat, I don't even have Snapchat installed, but I can go to three programs on my, on my phone. Three apps on my phone, all run by Facebook, that all have stories in them. It's the commoditization of features, and now Twitch has been poked enough, and GameWisp has done their job too well, that now Twitch has instituted a way to try and keep people on the platform. And as much as the, tw the, the $9.99 and, and $24.99 tiers were meant to keep people on the platform, such at the same thing with now, you know, the, the bigger pool of people. This is Twitch, Twitch's attempt. If not, you know, a, it could be a bad attempt. If anything, it's a, the first, the first argument they have is consolidation, centralization. You stream on Twitch, why not have your subsystem on Twitch? That was one of the arguments for, you know, the top tier, the people who are using GameWisp as an extra. And now they're, now they're going after the people that use GameWisp as their only thing. Bits and, and emotes. And I, I, I woke up to this news. I woke up at 10 a.m. today. And I, the first thing I saw on my phone was, welcome to the affiliate network. And then that email from Twitch for, to partners, thankfully, was not confidential. And I didn't, I, I didn't know how to feel it. The first thing that came to my head was uh, the, the difference between, oddly enough, Amazon affiliates and Amazon sellers. All you have to do to be an Amazon affiliate is fill out a form. All you have to do to be a, uh, a Twitch affiliate is, uh, if I may, is in like 50 follows, three concurrent viewers. And I'm not going to lose my shit over that. I think I think a lot of us have I can you know I I Final Fantasy did a great job of preparing me for this because I've only been in the Final Fantasy community for I don't know less than a year Final Fan the Twitch community yet there are so many people that have been playing and been doing this for so much longer and whenever whenever Final Fantasy whenever 14 makes things something easier everybody's like no fuck you I went through all of this shit I I bought Every umbrate, I bought every single piece for my relic at, you know, at their original value. And then, you know, they, they lower the barrier to entry like they always do for the people that want to catch up and want to get ready for, for what's next. And, and everybody's like, no, I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on to everybody should go what I through what I went through. And that's what mostly I've been seeing partners saying is that. Partners are like, well, it is a right, and I agree that it's a right of passage. And the, what makes it different for me is that I had that pass, I had that journey, but I didn't. I got rejected, and then I asked Hassan, and Hassan said, "Your staff, and you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to make the drive for partnership." I'm still glad I did. I got my partner button, and now here we are. I I I think that you know every. Not everything is an attack on your territory. And if something is like, look at, look at partnership like you would look at Twitch. If it's an attack on your territory, then you need to start growing somewhere else. Like, if, if anything, I'm like the opinion guy now. Like, I've, I've kind of hit a zen point where I'm not just yelling all the time. And I'm like kind of trying to form good opinions and using it as content. 
recording this live on Twitch right now, using it as content that I can then put out and and try and cement my place, just as I'm trying to cement my place in the 14 area. Twitch is trying to cement their place with with competitors like Beam and remember remember YouTube Gaming, remember Hitbox, Beam, and then GameWisp and and Discord were the claws that started that Twitch started to feel the pain of, and Twitch was like, we need to do something. We need, and mostly what people do in Silicon Valley is that they just centralize. They can't. They they, they take just they just bring it in, and they're like, okay, now it's ours, and now you don't have to leave. Stay within our walled garden. I think everybody has has a reason to be hurt by this, but I think it's too easy to see the hurt. You know, it takes more muscles to smile than it does to frown. The old adage. You know, it's easy for us to see how this could be bad. And I scrolled down my Twitter feed and saw, you know, you know, Co Carnage saying how he wish he had he had this. I think there are going to be a lot of problems with this. And if anything, Twitch has now shoved the tear in in a, in a in an effort for self preservation. They now shoved the tear in the middle. Just like any other Silicon Valley company would do. Any other Silicon Valley trying to stay relevant, trying to stay alive. Look how long Twitch has lasted. I've heard people like, you know, GameWisp. Yeah, they give me a bigger cut. If you think of it from GameWisp's side, that's like that's like a company with no revenue model. It's like Twitter, and Twitter has survived way way longer than they they should have on the on the you know the whole revenue model thing or lack of revenue model I'm all over the place today because this is kind of an all over the place announcement because there just it just affects so many people and you know I haven't for having had not had not enough time to like kind of really grok this all I can really be is happy for the people that are now able the mid tier the mid-tier non-partners that are now able, like I could give bits to Petra. I can give bits to, you know, Ashley to support them. They get a sub, they get an emote. And everybody automatically looks at the, like the, the, the people that are the bad actors. I think of the people that now your fight is a little bit easier now. It's not free. It's not free by any means. Just like the, this, Fight for Twitch isn't free. They've had to make a lot of concessions and they've had and 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 this product is not going to be the best. And now they're they're actually saying they're reaching out to partners to say, how can we make this better for you guys so you guys can feel more special? So you guys can feel more elite, you know, so you don't have so we don't have to hurt your egos too much. I'm happy for the people that that come to my chat. And, you know, that are that are trying to do their thing and they just they just get, either can't invest the time. Um, they're not willing to take the jump. But they can still get something out of it other than, you know, the appreciation of their of their viewers. I might do a couple of these because I, I'm sure there are things I'm missing. But at the end of the day, I think that like Twitch is changing and for once, I, 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 <laughs> I kind of, I back it, but at the same time, it's like, it's me. It's, it's, I have this view that a lot of people don't have and that I still see. And sometimes to my own detriment, the companies, that gigantic companies, which everybody, which, you know, the majority of people see as a monolithic entity that doesn't give a shit about you actually gives a shit i'd like i like to give twitch the benefit of the doubt just like i tried to give github the benefit of the doubt and wordpress and facebook and have has my you know has my my uh, uh, has my faith been tested yeah <laughs> been tested more with twitch than any other company that i've ever worked for worked for in the past you know, Twitch, Twitch is in a community where everything is saturated and like, you know, it's so easy to just grab out, ooh, idea, ooh, idea, one from Twitter, ooh, idea from Facebook, ooh, ooh, 
you know? More, it's like you're just taking, you know, it's so easy, but at the same time, it's like, you know, this is, this is the, this is the community that I'm going to be staying with for a while, so I can only hope and pray that these, these steps will keep it alive. I'm going to be optimistic about it, and we'll see what happens. I just hope that, you know, other people can see this from a, a zoomed out view. Because right now we're all so fucking zoomed in. And I, th I think it's, right, it's why the discourse on Twitter is so, is so weird. But that's another subject for another day. Or actually, I already talked about it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. And until next out with it, I'll see you when I see you. Love you guys.